Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu emphasized the state government's alignment with the urgent need for action to mitigate the effects of climate change. He stated that the government is championing adaptation initiatives at both the local and international levels. Speaking at the opening of the three-day Lagos International Climate Change Summit, the governor, who was represented by his deputy, Obafemi Hamzad, acknowledged that climate change is not a distant threat, but a present reality requiring immediate solutions. In his welcome address, the Commissioner for Environment and Water Resources, Tokumba Wahab, stated that the solution to climate change lies in climate-resilient development. Former Lagos State Governor Babatunde Raji Fashola participated in a special session titled Climate Change Initiatives, The Journey So Far. He stated that climate change is triggered primarily by human conduct and sometimes by natural causes. We can all see what is happening around various parts of the world. We are going to understand that the world actually recorded the warmest temperature ever since records were taken this year. So the, 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 the challenges are real. So Lagos State stands at the treasury of Israel. We are driven not by what some people call challenges, but what we consider our great attributes. As a city of aquatic splendor, we are vulnerable to climate vagaries. We stand tall among the communities of nations because we must do all, all that we need to do to defy the odds. When Dr. Banere was the Commissioner for Environment, and I think at the time, a few cabinet members then said, why is Lagos spending money in protecting and initiating tree planting and desert protect, erosion protection? And I think he made the point then that if we don't succeed here, if we don't do this, we will be the recipients of the migratory impact. And I regret to say that he has been proven right the amount and the number and the size of migration into Lagos arising from climate change hazards and displacement is on an increasing high. The solution to this lies in climate resilient development, which involves integrating measures to adapt to climate change with actions to reduce or avoid greenhouse gas emissions in ways that provide wider benefits. This year's summit team, accelerating climate finance and championing local adaptation initiatives, aims to explore ways of attracting climate finance into the adaptation space to create livable and resilient infrastructure. We are determined to mobilize resources at an unprecedented scale to finance the transition to a low carbon economy and support those most vulnerable the impact of climate change.